Hello friends, my name is Ugly Fish, and it appears that my dreams have been shattered, as despite my hard work building aquariums and being the best big boss fish in history, no one has slid into my DMs and offered me a job as a marine biologist. And as the clocks count down to the end of 2020, I've decided to give my marine biology video game built CV one last update, one last chance, with a dive into the game Beyond Blue. Beyond Blue is a casual diving exploration game that, while it might not rank highly in terms of excitement, it is, I think, the closest I will ever get at this point to being a marine biologist. My course was a distance course, 100% coursework based, so I have never completed a dive in real life. That also might be because I can't swim, but let's not get too caught up on that. I will dive now. I am playing as this biologist. There are sharks already. That is not safe for my first time diving. Thank you. Big Ray there as well. And we all know that they are killers. Can you die in this game? Because that whole opening felt like a threat. The rest of the environment seems lovely though. Great big shark there in the distance. Brilliant. I started playing this game because I thought Subnautica was too scary and now I'm just straight back into another sharky central game. Okay, I'm going to calm down. I'm going to head to this yellow target here, which looks like the killer ray. Fantastic. I'm going to I'm going to trust the process. The game won't let me die this easily, surely open the scanner and hold to scan the target. That's easier said than done. There's a small white circle on the Ray's um, face, I suppose. That was really difficult to get to. Why am I scanning you, Chilean Devil Ray? Oh, Jesus. Well, okay, if he was gonna kill me, he would have done it then while I was distracted with the scanner. So I think we're friends. The game's telling me to head to a boy for more information. If it gets me away from that shark, I am up for it. Now, what will I be doing here? Refresh me on the control. So I'm searching for sounds. I'm really bad at things like this because my hands are so twitchy. But never mind. I found something there. Some bottlenose dolphins. That's that's fun. I think I am looking for the sperm whales though. Done. Sorted. I found the sperm whales. I've won the game. Give me some achievements. I'm a marine biologist now. And over here we have some humpback whales. Grand. I don't know if all three are objectives, but let's go. Okay, I'm going to start the live stream. Let's roll. I went and played with the dolphins for a bit. I played with the humpback whales for a bit. I think this is the sperm whale pod that I've been looking for. Just going to swim straight up to them. I've got to scan them all again. That's fine. Swimming and scanning so far seems the only things I can do in the game, but that's not a complaint. That's clearly marine biologist life. Sperm whales always look so stupid. They look like bad drawings of whales. None of them, none of their body seems to fit in with the rest of their body. I think at the start it said one of them was pregnant as well. What does a pregnant whale look like? Oh, no pregnant whales here because there is a baby whale. All done. Congratulations to the mummy whale there. Congratulations to me as well, because I got an achievement for that. So send the Nobel Prize for whale watching my way. I think that might be the end of my first dive, though. That was the objective, was to look for the sperm whales. Oh, well done, me. Really proud of myself there. So, I went back to my little submarine, which is really swish, by the way. I made a few phone calls, and Andre wants me to get back out and record the humpback whales that I saw earlier. So I am off on dive two. While I was on the phone and skipping through dialogue, I've been looking up some of the other creatures that I found on that dive then, to try and work out where I am. I'm going to assume that I'm in the Pacific Ocean. Here we go, dive one was super successful. Let's hope we get the same amount of success with dive two. I've got a new toy this time as well. The Manta drone is coming with me on this dive. I think it's an upgrade to my scanner, but I can control it remotely to get closer to the whales. I'm not quite sure, and I'm not quite sure how well I'll be able to control it actually. Back looking for sounds with the boy, straight onto the humpback whales. Good. I don't suppose there's any need for any distraction in this game though, is there? Because it is almost completely educational. 
It was inspired by the BBC's Blue Planet programme, so it's not got some really intense storyline, which I'm liking because I can just go and explore. There doesn't seem to be any danger because nothing's killed me yet. There's no time limits. It's all very peaceful and I do appreciate that. Here's the mum and the baby whale again, I think, and I can send out my new drone and scan them. I hope I'll just scan these fish first. And then back to using the Manta drone. Send zoom scan. Oh my God, it flaps like a real ray. That is some sophisticated technology. Oh, apparently they can make drones flap, but they can't make them easy to control. Uh, that's on me, that. I wasn't very good at that, but now I'm in a cutscene. So I don't have to worry. Look how happy they are. Look at their little faces. They look like they're smiling. I really hope nothing happens to this baby, but if it's based on a BBC documentary, I've got a feeling it's going to die. Because David Attenborough always gets me emotionally attached to animals and then he just calmly narrates the fact that they're dead. This all feels like horrible foreshadowing. Don't leave her alone. She should follow the pod, she said. Should, and she's not going to... Please don't make me responsible for the death of a baby whale. Right, this odd waypoint appeared, so I'm a little bit curious because this whole area looks like it's going to drop off into nothing. Suddenly, I am in the open ocean and I really want to swim down into the depths, but I know realistically the pressure would kill me. So, no, I don't think I'll do it. The sound is coming from the deep. Is it a spooky animal then? Like a giant squid or is this some kind of social commentary? Is it C minus? What if it upsets all the whales? Oh, the baby did get back to the aunties. The baby is safe. Oh my gosh. Why is it calling for its mum? Where is its mum? What's going to happen to the mum? Oh no, it's the noise. I think the noise has upset them all. And they've just decided to scarp her. What if the noise is something bad happening to the mum? I can't cope with the stress of this game. I managed to get the audio recorded, though, of the humpback whale vocalisation, so that's good. I did get my objective, but now I'm wound up about the noise. So Andrea's messed with the audio file I've got. I'm back out on another dive now to try and actually communicate with the whales. I'm going to definitely stick with the theory I made before that we're in the Pacific Ocean here because of a lot of the fish that I've seen. I've also just seen some killer whales and that isn't indicative of anything because killer whales get everywhere but just very happy that I've seen killer whales. I think they're really cool. I think this is the sperm whale family again. I can see the funny heads. I've got to use this zoom scanner again and I am so bad at this. You have to hover over a specific spot on the animal long enough, keep RB pressed down. The, the whale is moving as you're doing it and the controls are inverted. That is really difficult for someone as uncoordinated as me. But I am one down, halfway there. It wasn't as difficult as I expected. I'm reluctant to say I'm improving, though, because I know I'm not. I just wasn't as woefully slow as I could have been. They're talking about some being missing, though. Is that because they're off looking for food or are bad things happening? I don't know if I'm looking too hard for a storyline here. So just get back to the biology. Stop worrying about the mum. I am now going to try and chat to the whales. So Andre edited the audio, he isolated some sounds. I am now going to play them to the baby whale. I don't know what it is I'm okay. saying to her. It could this be something really cool. rude. Hopefully she doesn't just thunder. turn around and smack me. Echo clicks. I could feel it across my body. Just checking me out. That's really cool. I just spoke to a baby whale. I did not understand a word she said back to me, but she seemed to understand me. It didn't upset her. Like, I genuinely feel like I've made a real scientific achievement. So I think that is as good a place as any to stop for the day. I've really enjoyed this game, though. It's not a traditional game. It's definitely supposed to teach and inform, and it is aimed at a very specific market. But seeing as I am that market, 
I'm really impressed. The environment is beautiful, the fish are really detailed, and this will be cut out the video that I put up on YouTube, but you can unlock actual educational video clips that you can access in game to learn more about the situation the game is written about. And that's really handy. Story-wise, I think maybe I'm looking too hard for a story that isn't there. But also, like the documentaries the game is based on, it has forced me to become very attached to the whales, especially the family pod. So I am really curious to see what happens hey guys, to Andrea the baby. If you're also curious, feel free to like the video or subscribe below so you can see my next update. It would be lovely to dive for you all again. So until then, bye!